Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Nellie Vale Reviews Drag Race. This is season 16, episode 12, so, so let's just talk about it. Um, I'm trying really hard to think of the words to describe this fever dream that was episode 12. Um, it just wasn't a good episode. It just, it, it just was not, it had a lot of potential. But it just wasn't good. But look, look, hey, in a hit show, in so many seasons, in so many episodes, not all of them are going to be great. Um, I feel like this is going to be a learning moment for a lot of people involved. But let me, uh, let's just explain what actually happened. The best I can make it make sense. Okay, so the girls had to, the in teams of two or three, they had to design bathrooms um i can't make it sound any more strange than it does they they had to design these pretend bathrooms now look here, here's the thing every now and then because we all know that mama Ruga is political and drag race it is a great plat platform to be political to bring awareness to certain topics to um to encourage because you have a, a a really wide range of people that watch the show lots of different demographics so it's a great place to raise awareness awareness to spread a message and in, in all of that we also know that mama rue loves to laugh everything you know she, mama rue doesn't like to take life too seriously don't take yourself so seriously make mama rue laugh that's how you win sometimes the political and the laughs they they don't mix so You pair that with, you have a group of girls who maybe their strengths do not fit what is called for in the challenge. Therefore, the challenge is a fail. Therefore, the episode is a fail, okay? The reason why they were redesigning bathrooms is because it was it, it was kind of a way to help raise awareness of um, the need for gender-neutral bathrooms, everywhere okay everyone's been up in a tiff about bathrooms and stuff we're not gonna get too deep into that this was another improv challenge obviously it was a design challenge it was an improv challenge we just don't have those girls the girls that we have left they are not strong most of them are not strong actors improvers um a lot of them aren't designers and the ones who are creative in those ways they were so strong that they just completely demolished the the other girls um there was a mini challenge the mini challenge the girls had to paint a t-shirt with their face um i know everything i'm saying sounds ridiculous i mean the the, the mini challenge was 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 fun Plain Jane won the mini challenge. So they had to do like extreme makeup on their face and then um, hug the pit crew who was wearing the t-shirts and then like smear their faces on the sh You guys, like I said, this episode was a fever dream. But anyways, back to the main challenge. So here's the thing. I think that there was a lot of great elements. I think that the, the design challenges are usually pretty popular on Drag Race. Um, improv challenges are popular and most people enjoy the political messages. I think that maybe if there was a different group of girls who specialized in that, maybe it could have worked. Um, I think that if it was a little more structured, it could have worked. I, I don't know. I don't know if this was a casting issue a writing issue or a, a challenge uh, structure issue um lots of good ideas it just it just didn't work it just didn't work it felt like a fever dream i didn't know what i was watching um i didn't know whether to laugh or cry or just turn off the tv and go to bed um but at the same time you couldn't look away the theme of the runway was chain reaction starting with dawn um it, it just, it's a no for me, but y'all know most of the looks Don has, I, I, I don't, I, 
Uh, mm -mm. Morphine. This is a better look. Um, the tuck could have been better. But it is, it's, it's a fine enough look. Nymphia. This this was cute. This was the, the detail work you can't really see in this picture here, but this was this was a pretty solid look. Um, the detail was really beautiful up close. I think this was one of my favorite looks of the night. Plain Jane, you know, this is a very plain Jane look. This is a great look, but like um, Michelle said, we've seen this from her before in just a different color. It's a great look. It's just a repeat. Q, I didn't like it. I felt like the red chain just felt, it looked so cheap. It looked like those little toy chains that the kids play with. It just, I didn't like it. And also Q is starting to get on my nerves. Y'all, I'm so sorry. But when they start to get on my nerves, it affects the way I feel about their looks on the runway. I know, it, child, anyways. Safira, um, this was this was really like avant-garde. Um, editorial look I wasn't I wasn't mad at it. it this this really had vision and it was very very different for Safira I like that also one of my favorite looks of the night well I don't know maybe I'm exaggerating but it, it, it was a good look it was a strong look okay so we actually ended up with two winners this week so playing Jane and Safira they both won I was like okay yeah sure sure um I for sure thought knew that Safira was gonna win, but they caught, but Rue caught Plain Jane first, and I was kind of like, "Girl, everybody was looking like, girl, okay." But anyways, Plain Jane and Safira both won, which means uh, Drag Race history was made. Safira is the first queen ever to have four wins, and th I think this is her third one in a row. And then so Q now, uh, not Q, Plain Jane also has three wins. So that leaves in the bottom Dawn and Morphine. Now, at first I was like, you know, I could see the lips ain't going anyway. I could see the lips ain't going either way. And then they said that the song was a body by Megan the Stallion. And I I think that's when we all knew, including Don, it was time for her to go home because Okay, look, Morphina isn't like the greatest dancer in the world or anything, but she certainly has a BBL. And so the girl with the BBL dancing next to the to to the rhythmless twink, the fate was set and sealed. Um, Don, baby, I don't even know what you was doing up there. I was like, please just make it stop. It was torturous. It was it was embarrassing. It was it, it went on too long. I'm just like, oh God, it's just I don't know what she was doing. I don't know what she was doing. But you know, what could she do? Body by Megan. Y'all know the song Body, yada, 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 yada. <sighs> Anyways, needless to say, Morphine survived to uh, another day and Don was sent home packing. So, um, look, I don't know what's going to come up next week. Don, good luck to you, darling. You are a fierce queen. Um, you know, I know I said a lot about your little looks and stuff, but you know, you, you fierce. I, I ain't even gonna hold you. Um, next week, I'm, I'm, or the next episode that's coming out Friday, I, I hope that, um, we get something that makes a little more sense. I, I, I don't think it would be possible for us to have another fever dream that was that last episode. I'm very confused. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts on whatever this was. Um, still a big fan. You know, hey, we all got to go through, back to the drawing board sometimes. No big. Okay, so anyways, y'all take care. Let me know what looks you liked, what, what you didn't like. And um, yeah, see you guys in the uh, next video. Okay, bye.